In this video, you will learn about three fun task card ideas to play with your students. First will be Scoot, second will be Mirror Game, third will be Scavenger Hunt. Angela here from Custom Classroom, hoping to make test prep more fun and exciting for your students. The most important thing is to keep it simple and use what you have. If you have already prepared task cards, great. If not, take what you have, test prep materials maybe from your school. You can just cut the questions apart, glue it onto a piece of paper, and boom, you have a task card. Let's begin with how to play Scoot. Number your task cards and put one task card on each desk. If you don't have enough, you can always duplicate some of the task cards. Have students take a recording sheet or notebook. They will begin by working the card first on their desk. Set a timer, and when the time is up, you will shout, scoot. Students will then quickly have to move to the next card in order. For example, if they're at card four, they would move to card five and so on. Continue until you either run out of time or you've completed all the task cards. Next, the mirror game. Put students into pairs. They will need a whiteboard or some paper to write their answer on. Display the, display the task card for everyone to see. Set a timer and the students will begin to work on the question without showing each other the answer. So their partner will not know their answer. Shout go when the timer is done. Students will then show their answers to each other. If they both are correct and have the same answer, they, each student gets a point. If either of them is incorrect or both correct, incorrect, no points. Students then keep track of their individual points. I like to keep it interesting by mixing up the partners so they're not always working with the same person. The game is over when you've either run out of time or you've completed all the task cards. Then the student with the most points wins the game. Now for scavenger hunt. Take your task cards and number them, hanging them around the room. Students will then move around recording their answer on their sheet or notebook. To begin the game, shout hunt. I then set a timer for students to work on the questions. The game is then over when the students have run out of time. An option is to then award points based on the number of correct answers completed in the time limit. The student then with the most points wins. To entice students to compete in the games, I like to sometimes offer prizes. It could be a coupon like homework pass or drop a grade or eat, eat lunch in the classroom. Simple things like pencils, sticky notes, pretzels, temporary tattoos, stickers, or just dollar store items can be really exciting, even though they're simple. If you're looking for more test prep help or information, please subscribe to the channel and good luck.